In this lab, you will be testing the enzyme activity of the enzyme bromelain. You will be extracting the bromelain from pineapple and testing whether or not it remains active. As usual, the first step is to gather your supplies. You are then going to rehydrate your freeze-dried pineapple. You want to make sure that you label your tube clearly, so initial state period and then the concentration, which in this case will be around 0.2 grams per milliliter, and then the compound, so pineapple in this case. Your next task is to weigh out one gram of the freeze-dried pineapple. So I'd suggest kind of cutting up your pineapple into your freeze-dried pineapple into little pieces to make it easier to get the exact weight. Make sure you use your weigh boat and zero the weigh boat. I forgot. Zero the weigh boat before you get going. And then you're going to weigh out one gram of pieces of dehydrated pineapple. If you need to cut a little more, that's fine. Try to get as close to one gram as you can. Now you're going to rehydrate the pineapple. So you're going to take the pineapple and you're going to get it all of the pieces into your tube. Try not to lose any before you add the water. You tap it down a little, make sure it's all at the bottom, right? So you can see it's all in there. Then you're going to use your syringe and you're going to add just some regular tap water in there. You want to fill up to the five mil line. Try and be as precise as you can, but it may be a little tricky with the chunks in the way. Then you want to give it a good shake and set it aside while you do the rest of the lap. The next step is to make some gelatin. This is going to be the substance that you will use to test whether or not your bromelain is active. All right, so you've got your enzyme activity kit. You need your Sharpie. You need your balance. And you want some sort of heat proof vessel, right? Something with a pore spout is ideal, but something that can be microwaved basically. Okay, so no metal, right? Make sure that it is a microwave safe container that you're gonna use. You also need, as previously, you need some pot holders of some sort um, because you are gonna be microwaving liquids and making them hot. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna weigh out the right amount of gelatin. Okay, so you've got your packet of gelatin in here. You're gonna use your balance. And your weigh boat. Okay. You want to turn on the balance. If you put the weigh boat on there to start with, it should automatically go to zero, which is perfect. If you put the weigh boat on after, make sure you zero or tear the balance um, so it starts at zero when just the weigh boat's on there. You're going to measure out the gelatin. Try to get to the right amount. Okay. Make sure you check your flow chart for what that amount should be. You're going to take that gelatin and you're going to put it in your heat proof container. Okay. And then you're going to turn off the balance. Okay, you're actually done with it for now. Okay. And then you're going to take your large tube and you're going to measure out uh, the right amount of water. Okay. So make sure you check your notebook for how much water you should measure out. You're going to just use tap water and you're going to add it in here. All right. Great. Okay, this can now dry, you can use it later. Okay, gelatin can go back in here. And you're going to microwave this to melt. You wanna microwave it on half power for 30 seconds to start, okay, before then taking it out with your pot holders and stirring and making sure it's dissolved, okay. So you're gonna take your gelatin in your heat proof container with the water added, put it in the microwave, make sure you have your hot hands with you, your pot holders. Then you're gonna set the microwave to 30 seconds, okay, on half power, power level 5 or 50%, okay, make sure you close around up, you're going to press start, you're going to microwave, and you want to check at the end of 30 seconds whether or not it has dissolved. Make sure you use your pot holders to hold your pot, hot uh, container. You're then going to take your two test tubes, and you're going to label them. So you're going to use your Sharpie, you're going to label right on the tube itself, not on the cap. You're going to label one minus C, the C's for control. Okay, this one's going to be gelatin and just water. And then you're going to measure, you're going to label the next one plus B. So that's your positive test. You're testing the bromelain. So this is the one you're going to add the pineapple juice to. All right. Great. And then 
You want to get some sort of something to set these upright in. So something like a cup, right? I have this measuring cup so that they can be more or less upright. Okay, I'm going to take the caps off. And you're going to add the gelatin that you've just created into the tubes. Okay, you want to be very careful when pouring. This is when a pour spout's handy. Okay, if you don't have a pour spout, you might want to consider using the um, transfer pipette that you have here to transfer it over. Just make sure you rinse it after you're done using it. Okay. Okay. And you basically want them both to be about an equal volume. Right. So if you're going to use your transfer pipette, drop the liquid. This is a nice way to get them perfectly even. Spit any extra back in here. Make sure you wash out the transfer pipette before you move on so nothing solidifies in the tip. Okay, this gelatin, the rest of it, you want to let it solidify and then scrape it into the trash. And now you're going to test if your bromelain from the pineapple liquid is active by mixing it into the liquefied gelatin and seeing if it solidifies or not. So pretty much right away after pouring your gelatin into your tubes, you want to gather the rest of your supplies. So you'll need your tube with the pineapple and the water, and you'll need a separate cup of just plain water. You'll also need your one milliliter syringe from your original lab kit. All right, so we're gonna start with the minus C tube, okay? So that's your control. The control is just gonna get water added, okay? So you wanna add 0.5 milliliters of just plain water, okay? So you're measuring to the 0.5 line here. It's important to start with the water, not with the pineapple, so you don't cross contaminate. Okay, if you got any bubbles, do the thing where you flick it, push out any bubbles, then go back and add a little more. So you just have 0.5 mils. You're going to squirt that in here, and you want to stir this with a wooden stir stick. Be gentle so you don't spill anything. Set that aside, you're going to put the cap on this and stand this upright. Now for the plus B tube. I would suggest getting some sort of small bowl or container to pour your pineapple solution into. Take your pineapple solution, give it a good final shake, and dump it out into the bowl. This will allow you to get the liquid more easily. You don't even need all the chunks, you just need enough of the liquid to draw. And then again, using the same syringe, because it only had water in it, you can go ahead and draw up 0.5 mils. Same deal, although it's stickier, so you know, wash your hands afterwards. But flick it until the bubbles come to the top. Over the container, you can press out any bubbles. And then draw back up liquid until you're right at the right amount. Okay, so you got your 0.5 mils, you're gonna take your plus, plus bromelain tube and add that in there. You can use the same stir sticks, again, it was only in the control before. Go ahead and give it a nice stir. And you're all set. All right, so here's what's gonna happen next. These two tubes you want to put into the refrigerator for at least an hour, and then you're going to check them. Okay? Everything else should be cleaned and thrown away. So the tube and the wooden stir stick can just get thrown out. The syringe you should separate and rinse really thoroughly and or run it through the dishwasher to make sure you get rid of any sticky sweet residue. You now want to place the tubes upright in your refrigerator for one hour, so set a timer on your phone. While you're waiting, you should clean everything else up. So for the syringe, take it into two pieces, rinse everything well in the sink, make sure you get both parts. And you may actually want to consider putting everything in the dishwasher. Everything was pretty sticky from this lab, so make sure you put it on the top rack, but you should be able to put everything into the dishwasher to get it really clean. You also want to be sure that you clean your lab workspace because it may also be a little sticky. After an hour, you're going to go ahead and view your results. And what you're looking for is whether or not the gelatin solidified. So you're going to take your tubes and hold them at an angle to determine whether or not the solution is solid. You want to take a photo of the results like this. 
If the tubes are both still liquid, you want to refrigerate for 30 more minutes and check again. And then you want to clean out your test tubes with some hot water. You may find that it's hard to get the solidified gelatin out, especially with a minus C tube. You could use something like a chopstick to help. And then either wash them really well in the sink or put them in the dishwasher. That's the end. Make sure you complete the analysis on Canvas.